Hey folks, welcome back to Fresh Produce. I'm Pete from BTI. Again, I am joined today with special guests, Andrea and Roberto from Breaking. They've come all the way from Italy to join us in, at BTI today. And we're gonna talk through a brand new product. This is pretty special stuff. There's, we're the exclusive uh, Breaking dealer in the US, so you can't find this other places. And these are some very unique, really high-end breaks. I think a lot of our customers are gonna be interested to hear about the technology and kind of the upgrades from the past version. So talk us through what changed from this new first break compared to the in-case and what makes breaking breaks special. Yeah, it's a total evolution compared to the in-case that we already own, uh, we already have on the catalog. You know, first of all, you know, the, the knowledge uh, and the know-how that we have behind is the same coming from Incas and also coming from the motorcycle. So yeah. you will see a lot of stuff that comes from the motorcycles that makes also breaking difference from the others, from the other brands. One of the main difference, uh, talking about the caliper, if we start from the caliper, one of the main difference that we have compared to the Incas is, for example, the possibility to use rotors up to three millimeters, right. like our W fix. Yeah. Now the Incas you could use three millimeter, but you had to add in yeah, an you have additional to add an adapter. Rotor. Yeah. yeah. Or a spacer. Yeah. yeah. Big spacer in there. So this one it's just going to work on either one really right away. That just means that the pistons can travel farther, right? That's yeah. the yeah. big difference. Yeah, that's the difference, and uh, also the possibility to you have a bleed nipple mm -hmm. to have a faster and simple and easier yeah. uh, bleeding procedure. Bleeding procedure yeah. for for the first, and as you said, yeah, the the the, the rollback for the pistons is is um, more compared to the Incas, but it gives you all, always the feelings that the the brakes are ready to break. Okay. Yeah. Because why we came to the market with the, with the break? Uh, because we we had the need, we had the feelings that we need a proper break for for the new e-bike and motor and uh, sorry and uh, bikes, because you know the weight of the bikes sure. is totally different. The way we drive, we ride the bikes. Yeah, we're riding super fast. Yeah, absolutely. And and also the the trail and the paths are totally different compared to the past. No, sure. Now we are using the cross country path for the gravel and secret roads. <laughs> no, for example. <laughs> So it's totally different, and that's why we came up with uh, with the brakes and now with the new first. Talking about the master cylinder, what what are the difference? The fact that we can uh, ca fully customize the the brake. That's one of, one of our key points about Absolutely. the brakes. Yeah, super unique. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because everyone has a different feelings on the bikes, a different style and so yeah. on. So it's super, super important to have a fully customizable uh, product. And in fact, we, we can do a lot of stuff on the master cylinder. We can replace the cartridge, for example. Right. It came standard in nine millimeters. Mm -hmm. You can upgrade it with the 10 millimeters. You have a different feelings, sure. of so, course, on the brake. Yeah, yeah, my understanding is that 10 millimeter uh, just makes it feel a little more on off right yeah yeah, yeah. so immediate power but yeah. maybe less um, modulation as you go yeah. up into the power right yeah yeah okay. it's up to you it's just a preference sure yeah. a preference. lots of riders like that yeah yeah and also of course you can modify the the reach of the lever yeah yeah, you have different screws on the uh, on the lever that helps you to modify the free strokes, for example, mm -hmm. the the reach of the lever. But all, you have always a security for for those regulations. I think that's pretty unique. There are there's a little security screw on all of the different lever adjustments that you do need to remember to loosen. But it also means you're not going to lose those adjustments through a bunch of vibration. You know, a, a full day at the downhill track, you're never going to change how your lever's feeling. So yeah. I think that's pretty key. And talking about customizations, also you can change uh, the link. Yeah. So we have unique. three different yeah. link. It came standard, the medium one. Uh -huh. yeah but you have also a shorter Short. and a longer one. Perfect, so that's another thing so unique. You're really changing the leverage of the lever on the cartridge itself with this changing the link. So really drastically changing the feel of the brake. It's gonna just make options for anybody out there no matter what you like. Speaking of leverage, with that cartridge, you're changing the hydraulic leverage yeah. on the piston. Again, so such a wide range of adaptability this break is pretty cool yeah and also and last but not least we are talking also about style yeah so no doubt about it. you have a uh, top products uh, and you need uh, a proper design of the brakes yeah. and yeah you can see it yeah these are all cnc in italy yeah. right yeah yeah 
Yeah, really beautiful. I think um, we'll get some close up so folks can just see they're really amazing cutouts and the uh, texture on them too just looks great. So another key upgrade, this version versus uh, the old Incas. Now we've got a new yeah. um, bleed cap on here. Yeah. So that sure makes the procedure a lot easier. A lot yeah. easier, faster, and yeah. 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 Is this um, anything different about the master cylinder itself or the tank, I guess you guys like to call yeah, it? Yeah, the tank is uh, bigger than the Incas, for example, okay. so the amount yeah. of, uh, of liquid inside is bigger, always to, you know, to, to help uh, and have a different feelings on the bikes, yeah. Sure. And also, so another important which is things for these kinds of products is the possibility to have a matchmaker uh -huh, yeah. to mount the difference uh, this is Ram Shimano or so yeah, on. Of course. Um, Lock them into your shifters as well, for sure. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, I think one other little key point, and I know this is not unique to braking, but on this brake, you've added small um, threaded holes on the side of the brake mount. Um, and that just allows you to really yeah. pinpoint get rid of that last little bit of rubbing. Yeah, to center the caliper around the disc because we are yeah. talking about super performance products. Yeah. So you want a, a super performance when you Absolutely. use it. And you have to be sure that it's properly centered on yeah. the disc. And and to have this micro-regulation, this is the perfect solution. Totally. And also once we have, you know, strength, the, the two, uh, um, they have strength the caliper to the frame, mm -hmm. it helps, they have to, Keep in positions the okay, so you're not caliper. gonna lose adjustment yeah. as well. So yeah, if you're a rider out there that just hates the sound of that little brake rub, this is a really good option to just help perfectly dial in the alignment and keep it there. Very cool. This brake sure looks like a premium product. It's gonna grab eyes when it's on your bike, and it's also gonna stop you supremely well. For sure, it's unique that you've got just two piston, but you it's huge, and you're getting a ton of power out of this thing too. So. Yeah. Yeah, we decided to use the two pistols because the the know-how that we have from the motorbikes yeah. now, we, we are still using two pistons in the motorbikes where we have huge rotors, huge power, exactly, huge speed, yeah. and why not on the bikes? Yeah, we so, have a tendency to think in the mountain bike world, especially you know the more aggressive riders, we need four piston, but it's not the case. We can really get the same power uh, out of two of them. Yeah, of course, these the right are know you know, oversized pistons. Exactly, so we're talking yeah. about 26, 26 millimeters piston. But that's what really makes the difference. Yeah. If you're running two 16 millimeter piston, you're not going to get the same power. So this massive piston is translating less finger power into a lot of power on the rotor. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Yeah. So these braking first brakes are super unique. If you'd like to see them on your own bike, make sure you ask to your local bike shop and tell them BTI sent you.